Today's Health Watch, delivering a pulse to the brain has been approved for patients with tremors and Parkinson's. Local 5's Connie Feldman shows us how this might also help patients with other conditions. Deep brain stimulation, or DBS, is a type of therapy that delivers a small pulse of electricity to the brain. It's been used to improve movement disorders, but scientists are looking at the benefits of brain stimulation to improve memory, mental health, and dozens of other conditions. With deep brain stimulation, surgeons implant a small wire in the brain. A separate device directs small pulses of electricity into the affected areas. Patients with Parkinson's and essential tremors can use a remote to control the strength of the signals. Now, researchers are studying brain stimulation for treatment of mental health conditions, like depression, anxiety, schizophrenia, and OCD, as well as drug and alcohol addiction, obesity, and chronic pain. Immediately after stimulation, we see change in brain activity and we see improvement in symptoms. Freilich is the director of the Carolina Center for Neurostimulation. He and colleagues use a technique called TACS, or transcranial alternating current stimulation, a weak alternating pulse. The beauty of the type of stimulation that we're studying is essentially we're learning to speak the language of the brain, meaning we can treat potentially different disease states by adjusting the stimulation to match the specific changes in those brains. And in a new study of seniors, researchers at Boston University say participants who received low-dose electrical pulses through the scalp for four days did better on memory tests, and those benefits lasted at least a month. Studying the benefits of brain stimulation on hard-to-treat conditions. Researchers say the results of their study could have big implications for treating patients with memory and cognition problems. There are currently nearly 400 clinical trials of brain stimulation listed on the government trial website, covering more than two dozen conditions. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 5 News. Thank you, Connie. Tomorrow in Health Watch, why nearly half of us are suffering from what some call the invisible epidemic.